dividing up to four digit numbers by one digit numbers using short division with remainders. In this nugget, the learning objective is to divide using short division with remainders. Let's look at the calculation 5608 divided by 5. Leo knows that 5608 can't be divided equally by 5. Only numbers that end in 0 or 5 can be divided by 5. This means that if 5608 was divided into 5 equal groups, there would be some left over. These leftovers are called remainders. Now let's solve this calculation. We'll set it out with the divisor on the outside and the dividend on the inside. And before we begin, we'll make sure that we understand the value of each digit in the dividend. This is the number that we are dividing. So, in 5608, there are five thousands, six hundreds, no tens, and eight ones. Let's start by dividing the first digit of the dividend by the divisor. So that's five divided by five, and that's one. But remember, actually what we've done is 5,000 divided by 5. So this 1 represents 1,000. Now on to the next digit. 6 divided by 5, that's 1, with 1 remainder. We put the 1 on the top, and the remainder goes into the next place. What we've done here is we've exchanged the remaining hundreds into tens. So instead of now having no tens, we've got ten tens, because ten tens make up a hundred. So now we can do ten divided by five, which is two. Now onto the ones, eight divided by five, that's one, remainder three. If there are any remainders from dividing the ones, these are just written after the ones in the answer, following the letter R for remainder. So, 5,608 divided by 5 equals 1,121 remainder 3. Now let's have a look at another example. This time, 2,171 divided by 3. So we'll set it out like this. Let's start with the thousands. We can't divide 2 by 3, so we move the 2 over into the hundreds place. Now we can do 21 divided by 3, that's 7. Now on to the next digit, 7 divided by 3, that's 2, remainder 1. These remainders move into the ones. And now we've got 11 ones, 11 divided by 3, that's 3, remainder 2. Now it's your turn. Solve 8,569 divided by 4. Pause the video and have a go. Let's go through the answer now. You should have set it out like this and started by dividing the first digit of the dividend by the divisor. So that's 8 divided by 4, which is 2. On to the hundreds now. 5 divided by 4 goes 1, remainder 1. That remainder moves into the tens place. Now we've got 16 tens. 16 divided by 4, that's 4. And then on to the ones, 9 divided by 4 is 2, remainder 1. So very well done if you got 2,142 remainder 1 as your answer. So remember, start by calculating how many times the divisor goes into the first digit of the dividend. If there are remainders, move them over to the next digit and then continue with the next digit. If there are any remainders in the ones, write them at the end of your answer after an R for remainder. <laughs>